what's good, Joe? Brand new comic graph time release issue number twelve of Black Cat. This is actually the only issue we actually got today. Um, yeah, nothing really surprising. You only got one, which hey, I'm not gonna complain. That makes it an easy day. I'll probably actually, actually go back and stream the last of part two some more after I'm done recording this. But, yeah, man, um, I also just found out that the Amazing MJ, you know, the Mary Jane series, her own solo series, got cancelled. And I don't mean, like, cancelled, but they'll release the next couple of fish, because they showed up the covers. I mean, it's cancelled, cancelled. They done. They done. S scrap. Throw them to the garbage. Throw them to the side. Done. Uh, lay them. Uh, Kobe. That shit into the trash can. You legit. <laughs> I was just, because I thought, I was like, oh, wait, they can't be canceled. They showed up the cover for the next couple of issues. <laughs> Surely it's not canceled. Then I don't know. It's canceled. Maybe not completely. Maybe they'll bring it back after the pandemic's over. I don't know. But still, even, issue seven had to at least been finished, right? Like, I'm sure at least that one had to be finished. At least the script's got to be done for this issue, right? I don't know what she just doesn't release those, the uh, writer of the book, who is now writing uh, X Factor. It sucks. So I was really digging MJ, and if you were honestly to put a gun to my head, say, Glenn, which have the, if you had to cancel the Amazing MJ or Black Cat, which one you cancel? The other one survives. I'd pick the Amazing MJ. Half of that is my bias towards MJ talking. The other half is just because I think I like that one a little bit more than, than the Black The Black Cat book has been pretty good. Don't get me wrong. The R stuff got a lot better in the last few issues, but... Honestly, I'm enjoying him. Joe's enjoying MJ a bit more, but hey, you know, whatever. Let's just jump right in. You got Tony and Black Cat chilling, you know. <laughs> oh man, I love Jay Scott Campbell's art, man. One that I'm curious about this one's working on, because I believe last time was when she became uh, Iron Cat. <laughs> you know, I believe so. So let's just jump right in. I'm actually going to get back and read those um, Empire, because I, I, I was reading a bit of the first issue last night, because I want to see how Captain Marvel becomes the Supreme Cusner, how they pulled that off. I want to see how they did that, but I don't know, because I read some of, it, of the first issue last night, I didn't really finish it. I ended up getting a little too soon, I was like, alright, right, I'm getting tired, I can't really stay up, time to go to bed. So I might try and get back on that one, finish up reading that today, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, Static Unlimited, nothing happened. Nope, not there either. Warmer, warmer, so close, look up, way up. When I get a hold of her, they'll never, <sighs> they'll never find the body. Next page. Also, speaking of which, just Toonami actually just announced like last night, I believe it was my saw it, that actually uh, this weekend they're not—they're actually going to be airing for like, the first couple of hours anyway. They're actually going to be airing full. They're actually airing full DC animated films uh, for the first days: Batman Year One and the Dark and the Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight Returns Part One. And then tomorrow, next week is going to be Gotham, Batman Gotham Knight, and. Um, the Dark Knight Rises, or Dark Knight Returns, excuse me, part two, which I'm high for, it gives me another excuse to watch The Dark Knight Returns, which is my favorite all-time DC animated film, I fucking love The Dark Knight Returns, so good, <laughs> anyway, so let's jump right in, there, don't be, don't be fooled by my, by the, by the steel, by the speed metal exterior, it's me, the black cat, land power, land power down and, yeah, Throwing down with Iron Man, 1,000 feet above sea levels. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty good day. This is gonna be interesting, man. I really dig the look of this suit too. Next page. <sighs> All right, credits. Ooh, you still you still with me, cowboy? Stark is a robot jock jock par jock par excellence. Whoa! He's been flying these damn and these metal death machines for a year. Meanwhile, I've been I've been at it for seven minutes. It's okay though. I I'm a fast learner. 
missiles inbounded. Do they have a lock? Do they have target lock? Negative. Expert systems that take care of, of tricky of the tricky nuts and bolts of flight keep keep my ECM up and running. I don't know what that means or whatever. My transmissions crisp and encrypted with the shock man with the shock mantle putting out putting out putting out so much electromagnetic inference Stark would have better chance punching out punching out God than getting than getting a weapons lock. <laughs> well, that's that's just fine then. Next page. <laughs> So pissed off, man. I was so pissed off when I found out I got killed. So I'm really enjoying the amazing MJ. Mmm. I like that it just ended like that too. Mmm. No, no. Maybe they'll bring it back once the pandemic is over. Maybe they'll just tie it into Tasm and they'll just merge whatever he was doing with do those issues into the main series. I don't know. Plus, my my little black my little black dress was was my little red dress here has a secret weapon. I can't fly like Stark, but I can outmaneuver him. That this cat is nothing if not nimble. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> and that I asked him. Huh? How she pull? How she's pulling these G's? See, turn too hard and fly. Put too heavy a foot on the pedal, and the G-force hits you like a truck. The more G's you pull, the more strain it puts on your soft, on your soft blood and blood and bone body. Too many in the blood in your body, too many, too many in the blood in your body pools, draining you away from your, draining away from your brain. First you lose your vision, then you lack out entirely. Unless you're me, which is why I still have why. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, unless you're me, which is why this there this is still a chase. Next page. <sighs> Incoming transmission from Iron Man. Scan for viruses. Negative. Open comms, then, baby. So you're the so you're the black cat, Felicia Harding. Jeepers Kaloom Jeepers Kalumbo, what gave what gave me away? I know Jeepers is what Velma said in Scooby Doo. What's Kalumbo? Is that another Scooby Doo reference that I just don't remember, or is that some fucking TV show from the sixties <laughs> that I don't know about? I've never heard anyone say Kalumbo or whatever that says. <laughs> I'm only wearing a two hundred pound cat. I'm only wearing a 200. I'm only, yeah, I'm only wearing a two. Only wearing 200 pounds of cat-themed weapon of mass destruction. I believe that's what WMD stands for. You, you got a lot of nerve. Please, I heard. Please, I heard a squirrel. I heard a squirrel girl busted into your place and stole a suit of armor. <laughs> squirrel girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. But when I do it, you pitch you pitch an absolute hissy fit. <laughs> you know Squirrel Girl? She wanted me to talk to a she wanted to talk to a cat to a cat or something or something one time one time, weird kid. How? How are you doing that without blacking out? Let a girl keep some secrets, huh? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I really dig this suit though. I hope it, be, it keeps, stays as a mainstay almost. Like she might, maybe not main mainstay, like she's always wearing the suit, but maybe she has it in like her in her lair or whatever. She breaks it out on the occasion because I don't want to see the suit go to use, go go to waste, I should say. Because this looks really cool. I would love to see it in like I don't know, an alternate costume in some video game. I don't know, maybe in an alternate Marvel Alliance Four. But hopefully then we'll actually come to multi platforms and won't be a fucking stretch as close to like where my story was. Yes, I'm so pissed off about that. I'm so pissed off when it was a Switch clues me. I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is this bullshit? I want Marvel's Alliance 3 too, you know? It came out on 360. Why are you leaving it to the Switch? And my motherfucking brother got a Switch too, but he won't let me play on it. <laughs> Stingy bastard. 
I don't know if he actually has Marvel Alliance 3 or not, but anyway. Stingy vest. He'll probably pick up Shin Megami Tensei 5, and he still won't let me play the damn thing. He got a Vita, too! Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. You don't really think I'm going to let you get away with, with my armor, do you? I take I take that kind of thing very seriously. I kind I kind of had a war about it. I don't know. It was a whole thing. Nah, a rich kid like now, nah, rich kid like you, you got whatever you wanted. I'll bet. You never went joyriding, did you? Didn't didn't have to. Probably got a Lamborghini for your sweet sixteen. <laughs> He probably did, to be fair. I mean, great. I think his dad was already dead by that point, I think. I don't know when t what, how old Tony was when his dad died, but I'm pretty sure it was around his like teenage years, I believe so. I think, anyway. But yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you yeah, whatever you'll bet. Okay, whatever you wanted. I'll bet. Whew. <sighs> A 71 Hemi Cuda, actually. Let me look at that car real quick. I have no idea what that car is. Let me see it real quick. Look it up. Hold on, guys. I need to know what the hell this car is. So I am not a car guy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 71 Hemi. 71 Hemi Cuda. Oh. No, it's not a bad looking car. Kind of reminds me of those old Chevy Camaros, actually. No, man, like, this looks like a car Vin Diesel would drive in the Fast and Furious because, of, like, the hood, as far as it's where you can put the engine is, you know? Where the engine's, like, kind of exposed. This probably was used in a Fast and Furious movie, to be fair, probably. Wait, let me see if it was. Fast and Furious. Let's see if it actually was used in the films. Doesn't look like it. Oh no 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 no! Well, something similar was used in Fast Five, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> Not a bad looking car. Point is, you don't rip off, you don't rip off the car because you want you, you don't rip out off the car because you want to keep it. No, when you go joyriding, you steal the car because you want it. You want to drive it <laughs> for the thrill, for the hell of it. Next page. Now I don't know how long Star takes takes to build one of these suits, but it sure is in a few minutes. I push the the I push the nano force too far too hard to put this bu bolts together quickly. No life support, no missiles, no repulse missiles, repulsors. Nothing can nothing but the claws. It's a it's a speed. It's it's all speed and electrical defense, and it's start and it's starting to come apart. Ah shit! I need to wrap this up. Ah, this is all just a thrill ride for you. You ripped off. You rip. You rip off a sports car. You when you want to. Oh, when you want to open it up. Okay, what the hell is she talking about? You rip off a sports car. What? You rip off a sports car. You want to open it up, really see what, really see what it can do. Oh, I think he means like he tinkers with them, like you know, changes the engine and whatever, whatever. I think that's what she's referring. I think, I think that's what he, I think that's what she's talking about. I don't know. I'm not a car dude. But when you rip off a war machine, uh, got him. Yeah. Yeah. And you want and you want to put it through this through its paces, then baby you take it to war. War, war, war. Uh, it's the War Raiders in NXT. And lucky me, it just happens to be at war. Plot, plot, plot of course. Designation. Next page.
next page. The Upper East Side. The Upper East Side. What? Oh. Oh shit, yo, 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 yo. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Just leave the thumbnail probably. I right, haul it's enhance. Enhance. I usually try I usually I usually I try and go for the smart move. There is no profits in revenge, but I'm sick of oh, oh, Odyssey pushing me around. And sometimes sometimes revenge is is its own profit. <clears throat> yeah man, she grabbed by the throat. <clears> throat> This gonna be this gonna be awesome. It's gonna be good. I have to go down in here, boys. Burn down my hideout. Threaten my people. You want war, Odysseus? This is what war with me looks like. Yo, 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 yo. Damn, Felicia. Okay, girl, calm down. <laughs> God, you're magnificent. What? No one, no one in this world would do this, would even think of this. Steal an Iron Man suit, attack me in my home, meet me below, blow for blow. Next page. I don't think you understand the gravity of this of your situation. Ugh. I I understand it perfectly. And you are what I need. You are what the guild needs. You are a thief of of, of supreme skill and an and impenetrable lin lineage of of of, of obnoxious individualism. You belong with us. You can't frighten me, Felicia, and I have, will have you, so you'll just have to kill me. Uh, slams her into the wall. You bet your life I that I won't. Ugh. Ugh. You don't have it in you, the ruthlessness. We'll have to work on that. Last warning. Let's let her go and and, and power down. Next page. Oh. The joy rides over, Black Cat. Power down. Another time, Odysseus. Oh, God, the minutes. <laughs> Wait, she just attaches her whole arm. Careful with that talk. Next page. She just attached her arm. It's a li it's liable to make to make me fall to pe it's liable to make me fall to pieces. She was never in the armor. She was never in the armor. Yo, neutral cognitive natural circuit terminated. Transmission terminated. Ah, so she wasn't even in the suit to begin with. Damn, damn. Damn. Felicia plays you like a damn fiddle, Tony. Damn. I hope she does keep the suit, though. Whew. 
Hot damn, what a ride. Stark be back and be back any minute. He's a smart guy. He'll figure out I'm I I've been here all along plotting rem piloting remotely in the in this in, the, in this nifty interface. Turns out you can handle crazy G forces if there's no body there to suffer this sub to suffer them. True. <laughs> True. But I'll go but I'll be long gone by then. All in, all, all thanks to to some something I borrowed from a friend. But first a good deed. Enjoy your day, Miss K KB. Miss K Cab? K whatever. Next page. Stark unit holding cell. They say he's he's been he'd be in Cleveland. He he was supposed to be in Cleveland. Hey target. Hey Tagrit. Yeah. Tagrit. Yeah Tagrit. Firepower. Huh. Shake a leg, baby. We're leaving. Wait, hold on, let me see real quick. Creases hideout, I think that's what it says. I can't really tell with that font. Hideout. Paramus, New Jersey. Nothing like getting back to my old to my old stomping grounds after the thing in in Madri Poor and then and that Korean nightmare. Look out for Black Hat Annual number two. Not bad. We've only gotten the first annual, right? Let me check. Let me check. Hold on. Let's see if I can look real quick. Yep, we only have yeah, the the, the the other one's gonna be coming out later. Twenty now, so that means this has been running for two years now. Interesting. Okay, uh, and you should see, you should have seen the look, you should have seen your face when I busted through that window. Pow! Masterful, darling, masterful. You made, you made an old, you made an old, an old man very proud. I just wish you had brought that suit back. Yes, damn it! <laughs> The terror we could have inspired, inspired with that with, with such a weapon. I don't know, boss. Are are we? Are you sure that was a, such a good idea? Taking a poke at Odysseus like that when we're almost ready to rip her off. Damn, Felicia, looking good. Oh lord, that's gonna be on the thumbnail. I don't care when or how. That is on the thumbnail. <laughs> ah, damn, she looking good, man. Ah, damn. I mean, maybe not. I'd expect her to be so intense. But, but, how yeah, but, girl, you looking fine. That's what's but. <laughs> With us so close to winning, hmm, what could go wrong? This won't do at all. Yo, yo, who the hell is this chick? What does fucking Felicia now have a twin clone sister or something that for some reason decides to wear white and gray rather than black and white? Black cat, threat or menace? <laughs> God damn it, Jonah! Jonah's not even with the bugle anymore, so what even is this? Next page, to be continued, na na na. Black Cat will return in King in Black. Ooh. I'm high for that in December. So she's actually going to be in that event. I'm curious if she's going to get tie-in issues or she's actually going to be in the main event itself or is she going to be doing both? I'm actually kind of curious about that one. That should actually be pretty cool. I do hope when that King in Black event happens. So I don't know if, well, so I don't know if that's like if this is like her last issue and then the annual's going to come out then you know she's not going to see anything until King in Black. Or so there's going to still be an issue with there to say, hey, she's going to be in the event in December. So we'll, say, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see on how the 
on how that turns out, but hey. Um, so yeah, overall this issue was awesome, man. I've been loving this. This comic has been going real good. It started off a little slow, but I definitely around these layers, especially they got after the chain finally, you know, switched the artist or whatever they did to make the art look a lot better. The the comic is just so much better now. So, but I wish MJ was still around, so I would have both. So I wish MJ was still around, so I could have both these series. But you know, whatever. Still got this one. This should be good. Looking forward to King Black. Hopefully, Donny Cates learned from the mistakes he made with Absolute Carnage, and you know that one. And it turns out to be a lot. Yeah, you know this one ends up being a lot better because Absolute Carnage was a great event. It, like it started strong and really ended strong, but the middle definitely kind of dried. And I would say I was a little bit disappointed with it, but he made up for it in the end where I wasn't completely disappointed. Like because that's what because Yellow Flash mentioned that he was kind of disappointed how the event turned. Because I was I was like I was because you know Donny Cates' Venom run was at its peak before. Uh, absolute Carnage happened well, before he like tied before he had to take before you know he went off to you know I guess right Absolute Carnage and you know the War of the Realms times and everything. I was like like really excited like oh my god I can't wait for Absolute Carnage to be made. And then I read the book and I'm like it started strong it ended pretty strong but then those like issues two and three were kind of like kind of like like kind of went went a little downhill and I was still still good but it wasn't as good as I was as I was hoping it would be. For, especially going off of how great absolute um, the the run was before, so hopefully he learns and the, and the King of Black ends up being a lot better. But we'll see when we, when we get there in December. Should still be good, but I'm hoping it's better than Absolute Carnage. Anyway, so yeah, enough of my enough of my little tangent there on Donny Cates. Anyway, guys, so yeah, overall I'm gonna give this issue a nine out of ten, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, follow me Instagram, Twitter, Flagley, subscription box below, and as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.